so I, I want to start things off kind of a little high for those people who are interacting with the idea of social learning and social learning theory for the first time, just to give everybody a brief introduction to the topic, get everybody on the same page. So I'd like to pose the first question. Rory, feel free to kick this one off. What exactly is social learning and what value can it bring to an organization? Yeah, so social learning, put simply, is really just people kind of finding their place within their environment, using social cues, talking with people, visually seeing and hearing things. And when we kind of translate that into the workplace, it's all uh, of kind of what happens in an office, on a Zoom meeting, understanding the environment, how to react within the environment, and to take that information in, spit it back out, and, and grow. Nice. Nathan, any builds on that? I think you think it's important. Yeah, and and so I think I take uh, a lens very much of the world of tools for learning in organizations, and so I have a slightly different definition that I use for myself. My definition is simple: social learning is the opposite of independent learning. And so, independent learning to me involves one person learning on their own by studying content or or practicing, and importantly. Even if that content is written by a colleague, it's that unidirectional consumption of that content without the ability to ask questions and discuss further that makes something independent learning in my mind. And so reading documentation is, is integral to independent learning. However, if you have a comment section or you can follow up and do a call to ask questions and get answers, that would be social learning based on my definition because now that becomes bidirectional. And so there's more than kind of one direction there. It could be workshops and training. It could be group circles. So that's all social learning to me versus independent learning. So the introduction, introduction of social cues, the ability of people to communicate with others, those who have more knowledge than them as well too, to really create, again, uh, a bit of a contextual environment for, for learning where you are getting that information from people who are more senior from you who have more knowledge or contest your thinking in that way as well too. 